Hello everybody, welcome back to Tabby's Food Review. Today we are trying out pink snacks. Alright guys, uh, today we have three snacks here, I should say sweets. And we're going to be doing something a little bit different here. Uh, before we get started though, we do have to say thank you to our friend Aine-san for giving these to us. Thank you very much. We can't wait to try them mm. out. And you know, like uh, everything is so pink and red and colorful. It makes me so happy. Today we have three snacks. We have sakura marshmallows, we have a chocolate strawberry biscuit, and we also have a soft cookie. We're going to do something very interesting because with the marshmallow, we're going to be trying to make sakura mochi because on the back of the package, it says you can make sakura mochi with three simple ingredients, one of the ingredients being this marshmallow right here. So the first snack is Arfoto Mini Chocolate Premium. Premium. It's Strawberry flavor. Mm. Rich strawberry. Rich. Oh, okay. So I guess it must mean like intense strawberry flavor. This next contains 40% real strawberry. Wow. Okay, no wonder <laughs> it's called premium. Premium. Yeah. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. <laughs> you know this Arfolto chocolate? Mm -hmm. um, if, it, if it's not the premium, it's actually quite cheap. It's like a hundred yen. But I leave these, these premiums, I believe, are a little bit pricier. Not that much pricier, but just a little bit. Maybe like 30 yen more or something. Okay. Mm. Oh, the on top, mm -hmm. the surface is chocolate uh -huh. and the back side is biscuit yes a chocolate biscuit so this well i'm assuming this is a white chocolate and inside there is strawberry blended mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. all right so first thing i think we should just eat the whole thing mm -hmm. eat the, the biscuit and the chocolate together itadakimasu, itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. You know, even before I put it in my mouth, I could smell the strawberry. It's like, you know, I'm in a strawberry field or something. Mmm. Mm. It's just like a strawberry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Really, because there's a tartness of the fresh fruit as well as the sweetness. Not overly sweet. I like it. I like how real it tastes. It tastes like a fruit. Mm. Sweetness, tartness. Mm. It's really like real strawberry mm -hmm. mm. and it goes really well with the cookie i gotta say mm. Mm -hmm. it's not mm. overpowering or anything they balance each other out mm. the really cookie delicious. part is really sucked oh, this is good there's 12 pieces in this package and definitely worth the extra 30 yen that's for sure okay the next thing we're going to be trying out is from a company called fujia which is famous for making cakes and they make a cookie called Kantori Mamu or Country Mam. And um, this is a soft cookie. In fact, I think Country Mam is one of the first, if not the first, soft cookie that came out at the supermarkets here in Japan. Uh, this is a uh, no berry, two types of berries. They're using strawberry and raspberry. One package of 14 pieces. And each one is individually wrapped like many Japanese uh, uh, products. And um, this ensures freshness and you don't have to finish the whole bag in one sitting. Yeah. It's like a handmade cookie. Like a handmade cookie. <laughs> like a homemade cookie. Homemade cookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, interestingly enough, the cookie is actually not super pink. It's actually kind of like a subtle pink, almost like a sakura color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Baked. It, See, if you break it like this, you notice it, it doesn't like, uh, it's not crispy, it's very soft. Oh, like a soft cookie. Soft cookie. Boy, it's a soft cookie. Ah. All right, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, this is a mixture of raspberry and strawberry. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. I've always been a huge fan of this country man cookie because I love soft cookies. Yeah, this one's pretty good, I gotta say. I. I do have to say though, compared to the first one, the premium chocolate, the strawberry flavor is a lot more subtle in this cookie. Uh, maybe because it's the mixture of raspberry and strawberry, but even then, the first one is just really intense strawberry flavor. <laughs> mm. Now, on the package, it says you could also enjoy these cold and hot. 
So that's what I want to do. I put a couple in the refrigerator and then right after we try that one, we're gonna put it in the oven. Wow. Mm. <laughs> okay, so these are the ones that were in the refrigerator for about a couple of hours. It's definitely cold and it's harder for sure. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not normal soft cookie anymore. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I think I like it cold. What is it? Maybe because it's a hot day today. Mm. Oh, perfect for summertime. If you want to eat cookies during the summer, you should mm. put it in the refrigerator. Mm. It's cold, but not, not to, of course, it's not super hard. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Still, it's a sakuto. Yeah, mm. but it's still good. a little bit soft. Mm. Okay, now on the package, it says to put it in the microwave oven or the toaster oven. So I'm gonna put it in the uh, microwave oven because that's easier. Okay, I'm back with the warm cookies. They've been warmed up in the microwave for about 15 seconds. Now it does say if you put it in the microwave, it becomes very ooey and gooey. Whereas if you put it in the toaster oven, it becomes kind of crispy on the outside. Oh, different. Oh, okay, it's soft. Be careful. It's soft. It's way softer. Oh, so. Oh, 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 I like it hot the best, I think. That chocolate bit mm. mm. merit in this cookie. Mm. It's different. That's good. Mm. Is that like white chocolate white chip? White chocolate chip. So they're, they're using both white chocolate chip as well as um, milk chocolate mm. chip. Mm. Very interesting. Oh, the soft cookie is so mm. good. Mm. 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 Warm cookie. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. The last one is a marshmallow. It's a cherry blossom flavored marshmallow. Mm. Sakura. Sakura marshmallow. Mm. From Meijia. Meijia. Meijia mm. is a very high end supermarket. Mm. And the shape is like the cherry blossom petal. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Cute. Yeah, it is. Gooey. I wonder if it tastes like sakura. So let's try. Okay. As it is. All right. Do it. Mm. 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 There we go. There we On go. Nori. Yes. Just a, a very subtle sakura flavor. Very subtle. Mm. But mm. there is. It, yes, it, it's there for sure. Mm. Okay. Um, and you know, I, I'm usually not a huge fan of marshmallow, but I do have to say I like the marshmallows here in Japan because they can, they come in various flavors. Like this one is sakura. They have like a matcha. They have like a, like jam filled marshmallow as well. They sell at the supermarket. So I really find the variety to be very interesting to me. But today, yes. I really surprised. I did not know or I haven't thought this way uh -huh. to eat marshmallow. Mm. On the back side of this package, they say that you can make you can make sakura mochi with this marshmallow. Exciting, isn't it? Wow. I know. <laughs> we have to try that. So, the cooking way is pretty simple. Prepare 100 grams of hot cooked rice and smash the rice and put this half package of this Marshmallow on top of the rice. Ah, I see. Okay, uh -huh. that looks. That's pretty simple. And, and, and microwave. And microwave. Microwave. A minute. Wow. Really? Just just leave the marshmallows on the top and then mm -hmm. put it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. After that, uh, mix very well mm. and cool it down. Uh, prepare 35 grams of smooth anko paste. Anko paste. Red uh, red bean paste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, make six. Balls, anko balls. Okay. Mm -hmm. After the rice has been cooled down, divide into six, and and put on the plastic wrap sheet, and spread it out. Put the anko ball on top and wrap it. Oh, that, that's it. That's easy. Okay. Wow. Okay. I I hope they taste good. Mm -hmm. I'm I, I'm really looking forward to trying these out. Um, and I think. I think that looks very nice. <laughs> I think so. They are they are quite cute. I think. All right, let, let, let's give let's give them a try. 
Oh my god, these are so cute. Now, usually a uh, sakura mochi usually has that sakura leaf mm -hmm, on the outside, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, obviously we don't <laughs> have that right now. Okay, itadakimasu. So exciting. Sakura <laughs> mochi. Sakura mochi. It's, it, it's not exactly sakura mochi, I gotta say, but it's good. It tastes good. Um, the sakura the sakura flavor is a little bit too subtle for me. I, I, I don't know. What is it? But maybe because I like sakura mochi because of the leaf on the outside, which adds like a salty flavor. It's it doesn't have... I'm gonna take one more bite. Mm -hmm. But I like this. <laughs> and I, I found this way, so mm -hmm. I can make another mochi uh, wagashi with marshmallow mm, like different flavor different flavor yeah like i wonder what it would taste like if you use the matcha marshmallow or mm -hmm. the blueberry marshmallow because they do have one they have chocolate marshmallow as well interesting milk marshmallow mm. and you know what i'm more surprised about though i'm surprised that the rice you know where you're just using regular japanese rice and you smashed it with a fork you know like just a little bit not 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 totally it's not totally destroyed the texture reminds me of the sakura mochi mm -hmm. rice Domyoji. the texture is really similar to that so that is surprising to me hmm. all right so we tried a variety well i should say three different uh treats uh was there a favorite for you the first one has a very distinctive strawberry flavor the second one i could enjoy the three three texture mm. And third one, cooking mm. way is very interesting, mm. pretty difficult, but I choose the second one, country mom. The country mom. I could enjoy the three textures from the one cookie. Did you like the, which one did you like best though? Hot, cold, or room temperature? Hot. The hot. Me too. I gotta say, that was my favorite one, yeah. Um, although, I do like the sakura mochi very, very much, but the country mom heated up in the microwave, oh, it's almost bakery quality not quite but almost thanks so much for watching everybody hope you enjoyed it as always leave your comments down below subscribe if you're new and until next time enjoy your food bye everybody